Hey there, it's Dave here from Crypto Tax Calculator. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can download and import your OKX files into your account. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is log into OKX. Once we've logged in, we're just gonna to wanna to come up to the top menus here, hover over where it says Assets, and come down and click on Order Center. Once on that page here, we're gonna to have to download the trading history and the funding history. So we'll start on the trading history by clicking on this tab up the top here. Once in there, go over to the far right and we're gonna click on download. That'll open up this modal here. And first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is select spot instrument. I don't have any other options here. And then we're gonna select the date range that we're looking at downloading. So I will do maybe the last six months. Once that's done, just click export and that will process that file for you. It could take a little bit of time, so we'll come back to that one in a second. The next one we're gonna to wanna to download is the funding history. So we'll click on the funding history tab up the top here. And then same as the other one, we'll go across to the right and we'll click on that download button. Once inside there, we're gonna to wanna to keep the type as funding and then we will choose the same date range we did before. So I'll do six months again and we're gonna click on hide internal transfers as they're not important. Now, then we're gonna click export and the same thing, it'll start processing that file. So that could take a little bit of time. Now, as those files are taking a little while to download, I'm just gonna go in and take out some of the files that I've previously downloaded and show you how to import those. So coming back to trading history, we can come back over to the download button here, click on that and it'll show you all of your previous downloads. So I'll download one of these old ones here by clicking the download button. That'll then download that to your computer and we can go and do the same with funding history. Perfect, so now that we've got those two downloaded, we can go back to CryptoTax Calculator and import those files. Now those downloads will come in as a zip file, so you will need to unzip them before uploading them into CryptoTax Calculator, which I've already done. Once you have unzipped them, you can either click on this upload button here to pull up your finder where you can locate the files, or you can just drop and drag into this box to upload them, which is what I'll do. So we'll drag the first one in, click import OKX CSV, and then we can click on add additional OKX source here to add the second file. Drop and drag that one in and click import OKX CSV. And you see the first one's already imported and the second one's now importing. Perfect, so that's done. It's told us how many transactions have actually come in. We can click continue here. You can see that those files have been imported. It'll tell you how many transactions have been imported in those two files which assets are being held in there and what their current balance is. So if you do have any troubles uploading your OKX files, feel free to reach out to the support team and we'd be happy to help you with any of the issues that you're having.